Hi, my name is Joanne and I am a tutor here at Wiseant. And there was a question entered by a student that said, Melvin plays tennis and swims for a total of 110 minutes every day. So he's getting his exercise and he plays tennis for 40 minutes longer than he swims. So that's the information that we're given. And then it asks us to answer three different parts of the question here. It says, part A, write a pair of linear equations to show the relationship between the number of minutes Melvin plays tennis and we're going to use an X variable for that. And the number of minutes he swims every day. And we're using the Y variable for that. Part B, how much time does Melvin spend swimming every day? Show your work. Part C, is it possible for Melvin to spend 70 minutes playing tennis if he plays and swims for a total of exactly 110 minutes and plays tennis for 40 minutes longer than he swims? Explain your reasoning. Okay, with word problems, I like to go through and I like to identify the information that we're given and then what they're asking us. So looking at the top here, I see that Melvin plays tennis and swims. So he does both those things for a total, it's a keyword, of 110 minutes every day. Okay. Underline that. All right. And underneath that, it says he plays tennis for, so tennis is 40 minutes longer than he swims. Okay. So this has given us some information. We know that he does tennis and swimming for a total of 110 minutes. So this tennis and swimming is gonna indicate we're gonna be adding these two together. We're like summing these up for a total of 110 minutes. And then we're playing tennis 40 minutes longer than he swims. So whatever amount of time I swim, I'm gonna add 40 to that. And that'll tell us how long that we've been playing tennis. So from this, I can um, create some equations. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with what they suggested. They said that um, we're going to have tennis be represented by x and we're going to have swimming be represented by y and that's how much he does every day so looking at the information here tennis and swimming the total for that is 110 minutes every day so i'm going to take the minutes spent playing tennis i'm going to add to that the minutes spent swimming and that's going to give me the total minutes of 110 minutes every day that he's exercising the second piece of information here, it says he, he plays tennis for 40 minutes longer than he swims. So I'm going to say tennis, the minutes playing tennis are equal to 20, or I'm sorry, 40 minutes longer than swimming. So I have swimming as a Y, and since it's 40 minutes longer, I'm going to add 40 minutes here. So now I have two equations here. I have two linear equations. This part A was write a pair of linear equations to show the relationship between the swimming and the um, tennis. So now we have our two linear equations. So we have answered part A. X plus Y is 110. X equals Y plus 40. Now part B wants us to actually find out how much time does he spend swimming every day. So we are trying to find Y, the number of minutes swimming. So we're going to look at these two equations and we're going to solve them. This is called solving a system of linear equations. So looking at what I have here, I can see that um, I want to solve for y, and I, I know when I look at this problem, I think, okay, well, I want to solve for y. I already know what x equals. So looking at these two equations, I can take this equation for x, and I can plug it in right here, and then I can solve for y. So I would get, um, so x plus y is 110, so y plus 40 plus y equals 110. I've taken my second equation here and I have plugged it into my first equation. Now I'm going to solve this equation for y. So I'm going to combine like terms. y plus y gives me 2y. I have um, plus 40. I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. And that'll help me solve for y. So 2y is going to equal 70. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and I get y equals 35. So every day, part B, we spend, or he spends, 35 minutes swimming. Okay, part C says, is it possible for Melvin to spend 70 minutes playing tennis if he plays and swims for a total of exactly 110 minutes and plays tennis for 40 minutes longer than he swims? So what we're trying to figure out is, uh, I know that based on these two equations and the information we had before, that he's going to swim for exactly 35 minutes um, in order to play tennis for 40 minutes longer and equal 110 minutes exactly every day. So we're going to try to find out how many minutes does he spend um, playing tennis 
And then we have to see, is that amount more or less or equal to the 70 minutes in part C? So let's solve this um, for X. We're going to solve for X now. And we're going to plug in, so we're going to solve this for X. We're going to plug in the value that we just got for um, swimming. So we have X equals Y plus 40. So our X is Y. We found out Y was 35 minutes. We're going to add 40 to that. And we find out that the tennis playing is going to be 75 minutes. So every day he's going to spend 35 minutes swimming, 75 minutes playing tennis. So is it possible for him to spend exactly 70 minutes playing tennis if he wants to have exactly 110 minutes a day swimming? Well, the answer is no. He has to swim 35 minutes and have um, 75 minutes of playing tennis in order to get exactly 110 minutes. Because if he did 70 minutes of playing um, tennis, that would be 70 minutes of tennis. And then the swimming is 30, uh, 40 minutes less. So that would be 70 minus 40, which is 30 minutes. He would only have 100 minutes total of exercise and he wants 110. So therefore, no, it is not possible for him to, to play tennis for 70 minutes and still meet his 110 minutes of exact playing. And that is the answer to this question.